What sort of companions do we want here in this room? And when I, mean, when I say companions, I mean what kind of companion energy do we call in? <clears throat> so I've got a couple of companion energies I'm going to call in to spend the day with us. And if anyone wants to throw in something extra, please be my guest and just say the word. So I'm going to ask love to come into the room, healing, laughter, passion, joy, perfect health, abundance, gratitude, peace at the end of the day. We want to be here with peace at the end of the day. And... Compassion. <laughs> Thank you. Compassion? Anyone else? Tolerance. 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 Thank you very much. Harmony. Harmony. Thank you. Hope. Hope. Thank you very much. <coughs> Promise. Promise. Thank you. Fulfillment. Fulfillment. Thank you. Waves. 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 Thank you. Wow. Coming from a guy in radio. I mean, how? I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> Courage, thank you. Wisdom. Wisdom, thank you very much. Honesty. Honesty, thank you very much. Expression. Expression, thank you. Soul. Soul. Soul, thank you. And one more. Creativity. Creativity. Faith. And faith. Thank you. So we're going to have all these here with us in this room. So at any time, if one feels a tug, remember all the words that have come to spend the day with us today. And as you leave, you'll take them with you. Okay? You're not going to leave them behind here because I just wouldn't be able to manage to carry all of them. It would just be too much for me. Okay? Alright, so what are we going to start with? We're going to start with a simple diagram. This has been Something that I have used and used and used again. And you know what? It works like magic. It looks like magic. <laughs> okay? A new baby is born. We all came in as babies, and I have a very interesting story. I saw my baby picture for the first time when I was 31 years old, and I burst into tears because no one had a baby picture of me. So when I came to visit my mother, who lived in Canada at that point, I saw my first baby picture at 31 and I just cried because I couldn't believe I was a baby ever. So, we've all been babies. We were born as little babies. And when we were born, we came in with this pure light. We came in as this pure, pure light. And what happened? Everyone started to tell us what we should be, what we shouldn't be, how we should be, and the word should connotes that that's not what, where we're supposed to be going. But these are the layers that we started building as we took in all the things that we were told. We were supposed to do this this way, and we were supposed to make sure we crossed our legs, and we were supposed to make sure that we wished elders in a certain way, and some of the stuff's really good. But a lot of the stuff that we were told we had to do didn't always serve us. That's why we're in this room, because if we had nothing that we want, that wanted to change, we wouldn't be sitting in this room. There's stuff inside of us that doesn't resonate. We think, you know, we sit here and we think, Yo, but why can't it be this way? It can't be this way because we're so programmed in a certain way that we can't get rid of those layers in order to get to where we want to be. Those layers stop us from expressing our true selves, from expressing who we really are. So this pure baby, this pure candle light, this candle flame, as we would have come in as light, started taking in all the conditioning of what humanity gave it. So this baby comes in, and we say, oh my God, she looks like the father, or she looks like the, the mother, or she looks like the aunt, 
Oh, you know what? She can't wear blue. We've got to put her in pink. All this stuff we start doing with the baby from the time the baby arrives. The baby starts losing its identity the minute it pops out from the mother's womb. Okay? So we carry on, we carry on, we go to school, we meet our cousins, we meet our aunts, we meet our uncles, we meet our community, our society. And now with the internet and the way technology works, everything is at our fingertips. So we're constantly, constantly being bombarded by information. Okay? The point is, do we have filters? If we have filters, what type of filters do we have? And what are the filters contained of? What, what is in those filters that we've created? Is it filters to protect ourselves, to defend ourselves, or are they filters to stop us from learning? But all this is intertwined within these layers of stuff that we've collected. So something happens in life. You get sick, break a leg, have an operation, someone dies. There's a sort of trauma. Something happens in your life that shapes you. And you think, you know what? I can't, I don't want to carry on feeling like this. I don't want to carry on being like this. So there must be something else out there that I need to do that's going to help me shift. So at some point around here, you decide, right, I'm going to start going out there to figure out if there's something that's going to resonate with me to make me start changing the way my brain works, the way my heart feels, because I'm not feeling totally satisfied. I'm not feeling in harmony with myself. I have aches and pains. I have, I don't laugh as much. I don't laugh as much. How many people wake up in the morning and think about smiling? Show of hands. Great, great. What about the rest? What do we do? Some of us look in the mirror and do some funny things, right? I do a lot of talking. I do, I do, I do, I do funny faces because I have no choice. I have to laugh at the funny faces I make, right? We all do different stuff in the morning, but the majority, if anyone did a research, majority of people wake up in the morning and they don't wake up with this burst of it's another day. Now, whether you go to church or whether you follow any belief system, doesn't matter because as long as one has faith, it is important to have faith. And how you choose to take that faith and how you choose to follow it to whatever paradigm that works for you, that's fine. Faith is necessary though, because without faith, this is my personal feeling, I have faith in the unseen. And that's good enough faith for me. But that makes me feel it's a new day, right? That there's a reason why I'm here. But most people don't know or don't feel that there is a reason for them to be here. And you know what? Maybe there is no reason for us to be here. We just happen to be here. So, if we just happen to be here, how about we start having a little bit of fun? Yeah? How about we say, does it really matter that I need to find my purpose? That I need to find my passion? Yes, it does matter. But to begin with, how are you going to shift? You know, I want to get to the end of that carpet. If I don't take the first step, I'm not going to reach that point. So there has to be some point of that initial shift, okay? Someone said to me, the journey of a thousand miles does not begin with the first step. It begins with conscious preparation. And in this case, that's very fitting because conscious preparation means acceptance. Making a conscious decision that I am not comfortable in this spot. So in order to get comfortable, I need to move. And because I'm very visual, I need to do the stuff even for me to grasp the knowledge. So I want to shift. And as I shift, I want to keep moving. And I want to keep growing. So this is the example of the candle flame. And it's, it's a very simple drawing, as you can see, I don't do straight lines, so I was lucky I had to do crooked lines. Even with a ruler, I can't draw straight, straight lines. So, this is just a very simple image to keep in your mind. Anytime you feel overwhelmed, or you feel, okay, 
what am I supposed to do next when a situation arises that's too much for you? Now, how many aspects do we have within our being? Anyone want to give it a shot? Like, we have thousands of aspects. I mean, you know, if anyone says to you that schizophrenia is a disease, they're lying. <laughs> we talked about this on the interview. We all have a lot of aspects in us. We have the child, the young woman, the teenager, the old woman, the married woman, the sister, the mother. These are all aspects of a woman. And of a man, you have exactly the same. So we have a lot of different aspects within ourselves. We need to recognize these different aspects within ourselves, okay? However, the four main aspects of what we're composed of are, anyone want to give it a shot? It depends on how many personalities you have. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many I have, Doug? <laughs> you know me pretty well. <laughs> it's, it's a little warm in here, maybe. Is everyone feeling warm or is everyone okay? Is it warm? Yeah? All right. Jeez, maybe we could get Connor to turn it down. If you press number two, thank you. Yeah, it's just too All right. So simply, there are four aspects. Okay? Now, everyone, you know, I'm surprised no one asked me, what are the goodie bags for? No one asked me, why are we, get, why are we getting a goodie bag to start with? Yeah. We're getting the goodie bag to start with. Now, before I even start on this, I am going to ask you guys to do an exercise while you think about the four aspects. Here is three. In your bags, everyone has a roll of this, but you don't need to take them out. I want you to take those home as a reminder of what we're going to do today. And this is what I want everyone to do. And I'm going to send these two reels right around the room. So I'd like you to just wrap this around a part of your body and give it to the next person and keep it going. And I'd like you to do the same thing. Put it loosely. I've got a pair of scissors in case anyone gets entangled. <laughs> I want to see how everyone looks at connecting with the next person. Right, I'll just keep the scissors handy in case people get entangled. This is too cool. Get entangled, it's okay, we'll cut you loose after. <laughs> we all have to go to lunch together. <laughs> <laughs> that might be an idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, gentlemen, ladies, those of you that have spouses at home, we won't tell them about this. <laughs> Yeah, you want one? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Dawn's here to stay. 